Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can import your own sounds into Logic Pro X. That means sounds from third party drum kits, sample packs, you name it. While we're at it, make sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. I started to create a beat for this tutorial. I'm using a sample that comes out of our free sample pack, Trap Life 100. You can download that at frequency.com. I put a link in the description for you. Let's have a quick listen. So in order to preview sounds in Logic Pro X, what you can do is use Alchemy. And the way to do that is by simply hitting the plus button, creating a new software instrument, coming down to instrument, and then selecting Alchemy from the list. Okay, from here, you can just hit the advanced tab and then click on saw and then import audio. On the left-hand side, you can see you have places, drives, and favorites. Clicking on them will expand or collapse those lists. I'm going to collapse the places list and look for my G drive. This is, I, I know this is the location where I have my drum kits. I have this one folder called drum kits. And then here I have all my different drum kits that I can choose drum sounds from. You can favorite your drum kits folder by just using that little star button at the top right next to drum kits and that will add it to your favorites. This way you can easily find your drum kits at a later point. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to preview some of these drum sounds and I'll go into my Mars kit. This is also a free drum pack that we have available at frequency.com. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. All right, let's go ahead and uh, look at our kick drums here. Okay, so let's say we wanna import this a rover kick here into a drum machine designer. Um, I just created a new software instrument like so, created it, and then named the drum machine designer. Let's go to the instrument tab there and select drum machine designer. This already has sounds in it, but I want an empty kit. So I'm gonna right click here and say clear all cells. Now I could simply click and drag over that sound into the C1 panel. One thing I noticed about drum machine designer is that the the sample playback volume is pretty loud, so I generally turn down everything by around 8.5 to maybe 9 dB so that I can reference it at a lower volume. Let's go back to the Mars Free Drum Kit and let's look at some snares. Let's use that Curiosity snare. Same thing, I'll make sure that the volume is a little lower. And then you could, you know, start filling this in with percussion sounds, effects, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely enjoyed making it. If you guys have any questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comments section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you guys are notified anytime I upload some new content. My name's CJ and I'm out for now. Peace.